it's going great. We have all this black on the ground. It's not even noon. Um, we're getting consumption. We got a little bit, a few duffers here and there, but nothing that really threatens the line. Uh, we're really pleased with the results. We'll be out of here in a couple hours. A duffer is just a spot uh, over the line that's kind of creeping around in the litter. We've been burning this field uh, since the 60s or 70s before there was sequa. You know, the firefighters used to come out here and just burn off the grass as a hella spot. Um, obviously it's evolved since then and you know, the forester before me did the sequa on this and they burned it and the forester before him burned it with her sequa. Um, so this is kind of a traditional burn for our unit. And there is some evidence that the native people burned it as well. So um, it's a real long tradition of fire in this area. Well, it is Marshall Field, so it's a gathering place for the community. This is a major bike route that goes through here um, that you can bike um, through Wilder State Park. Uh, I bike it myself. <laughs> um, it's also part of the university campus, so the students all come here and hang out. Yeah, you can start ringing that, that uh, or bring a fire on that road and then start ringing that, that grove. But we did get two inches of rain in this location over the weekend, and so that'll allow us to burn the grass safely. We filed a notice with Northern Region, it was approved, we had a site visit with the IC, we had some phone calls to make sure that uh, we had the adequate resources, and uh, we picked a date and time and went for it. If we don't burn it, the coyote brush is going to take over and this is going to be a brush field. So that's one way to maintain a grassland area is to burn it and try to keep this coyote brush in check. It's harder to fight fire in brush. Uh, and the meadows and grassland areas are disappearing. The flowering annuals um, that require disturbance are becoming special status species because they don't get um, enough sunlight. We have to put fire on the ground. That's the only way that we are going to uh, mitigate this mega fire problem by burning areas with low intensity, um, we can reduce the fuels and make it safer. Uh, you know, we don't have to put equipment in here. We don't have to put a masticator or a mower in here. We can just do it uh, naturally with something that's actually going to benefit the ecosystem. This can protect, help protect the city of Santa Cruz and the University of Santa Cruz, and it has before, and um, we're prepared to use it again.